hello everyone my today video recording is uh, related to industrial ethernet to serial converter either we can say a uh, serial to ethernet converter so in my case i am using uh, moxa industrial uh, serial to ethernet converter uh, in this converter i am going to use it as a console port connectivity for the console port connection and I will use putty or either I will use a Moxa proprietary tool to uh, console to the switch. So I have one uh, switch which is connected to RS232 port. And I have my uh, LAN cable of my PC which is directly connected to this converter, the serial converter. Okay. And I'm going to configure this operation mode as a real com. And my end application uh, requirement is to have a console connection. So basically in real com mode, uh, this N port, uh, the serial converter is acting as a transparent device. Okay. And uh, I will show you how to access it and how you can download the utility softwares and what kind of uh, softwares do you need actually. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to go to this uh, moxa.com website under the products and under the products, you have to go to serial converters. <coughs> And from the serial converters, you have to go to, sorry, you have to go to serial device servers. Uh, serial device servers, and then you have to go to general device servers. Yeah and I am using this 5100 series serial converter serial converter and as you can see this uh, I will just show you from the data sheet so th here is the part number and port 5100 series and actually what it's doing it's doing a standard uh, serial to ethernet or ethernet to serial conversion as you can see uh, this i will add this link in my video descri description you can just download it and you can review it and uh, <clears throat> the operation mode the operation mode for this device are operation modes we can use it as a disabled mode ethernet modem mode pair connection mode real com mode reverse telnet tcp client and server server and udp so in my current video i am going to use this uh, serial converter as a real com okay and uh, if you have a look into the product here is rj45 port power connector and we have db9 mail rs232 port okay and i'm using n4550 which support uh, multiple ethernet standard serial standards which is 232 422 and 485 so what else do you need actually so you have to go to resources on the same page under the resources you have to go to you have to download some utilities softwares so under the utility first of all you have to download this dsu the device search utility as you can see it's downloaded into my computer and i need this pcam light communication tool for verification purpose i will also download this and uh, if i click on all i need one more utility which is known as n port administrator so as you can see the n port administrator is downloaded first i will do i will install this uh, dsu i will just uh, double click run let's see it's working or not yeah more info run anyway click yes next next uh, desktop icon next install launch dsu finish so as you can see the dsu is launched one software is installed the second software is this become light and i will just click yes next i accept the license agreement next finish next and install finish second tool is also installed and there is third utility which is known as uh, moxa n port administrator this n port administrator we will use this for the virtual com port mapping so next next yes next install 
next and port administrator okay so first of all when you connect your cable directly to the device and you don't know the IP address of the serial converter so you don't have to worry about it you have to download this DS utility and you have to install it on your PC and you have to search it and as you can see the devices and port 5150 is discovered I will just click on stop as you can see the IP address of the end board uh, serial converter is 127.254 so I have to assign the same IP address to my PC and uh, I will go to status details as you can see I have a same subnet IP address 127.70 so close I will close this and uh, first you have to make it as unlock or either you can just select the device and click on unlock and you have to type the default password so the default password is MOXA MOXA click OK device is unlock right click you can go for the console connection from here when you click on the console it will redirect you to the web login this is the first method to access the converter and also you can use this end port administrator utility to configure it and apply the com mapping in one tool so it's up to you if you want to go via the uh, web login or if you want to use the utility so what I will do I will just minimize this I will go through the web login method so basic settings network settings I will keep the same address I don't want to change it you can change the IP address of the device according to your requirement serial interface I will go to serial settings the switch which is connected to this RS232 port is uh, the baud rate is 115200 so you have to set the parameter 115200 data bit 8 stop bit 1 parity none flow control none FIFO is enabled and interface is RS232 if you want to change you can change it to your requirement but I'm going to use RS232 so this serial parameter is correct if you are going to use it with third-party switches like Cisco Juniper or any other device uh, router or console uh, on the switch po switches or something or servers you can change the baud rate according to your requirement so in my case is 115200 in operation mode I will go to port 1 under the port 1 I will choose the port uh, method as a real com mode so as you can see the real com mode is selected the TCP alive check is 7 minute 7 maximum connection is 1 you can make it as 4 to 3 it's up to you so I'm going to use it as a 1 I'm not going to touch any other parameters I will just click on submit and save this device will reboot within few seconds okay and I will just click on home button again the device is restarted already submit so as you can see the operation setting is set to real com mode so it is correct now uh, I will use the end port administrator now we need end port administrator so as you can see end port administrator is here I will just click on search the device is discovered okay and you have to unlock first MOXA MOXA then you have to go to com mapping and you have to add the device here okay and I will use uh, if you want to change some parameters you have to change parameter under the com settings uh, com 10 advanced settings I will not touch anything serial interface I will set to 115200 and com grouping I don't need anything else I will just click OK and I will click on apply yes okay so the com mode is set to com 10 okay parameter is set now what I will do I will uh, if you want you can just add the device to monitor state go and port monitor add I will just click yes and go so the monitoring as you can see it's alive com mapping is just done uh, com mapping is done as you can see the com port 10 is mapped okay so what I will do I will use the pcom utility the one which is I installed pcom terminal emulator 
I will click here and as you can see the COM10 is listed here so I will choose Serio from terminal I will use uh, VT100 and I will change the baud rate to 115200 and I will click OK OK guys so you just hit enter login name you need a login name admin and you can see password is Foxa okay as you can see I can now console to the device okay so in my case the the configuration for the real com mode is done and the real com mode is working healthy and fine and also if you want to verify it you can use the putty tool okay guys so let me explain to you again as you can see in the real com mode the device become as a transparent and my host computer my host computer is using a socket program to connect with the remote site okay so if your application so in realcom mode the host pc is actively trying to connect with the remote site so if you have a same application uh, or you have a, some different application in your scenario and you are using your host computer to connect with the remote site then the best option to use the operation mode as a realcom okay in realcom as i mentioned earlier that it's acting as a transparent device what comes in on ethernet interface it will redirect it to the e serial and from serial what comes out it will redirect it to the ethernet interface okay using the socket application thank you very much for watching please kindly like and subscribe to my channel thank you